the tournament finals. Look, there's Marcus. There he is. Now we're going to beat him. You know who he is. I'll say I know who he is. He must be a nobleman. Nah, he's only a muscle man. This final contest will be an elimination bout. Oh, athletes of Greece, you are inspired by the will to win, but even if you are beaten, your cheerful faces will still be smiling in defeat. Every opponent here is a friend. And what is nobler in defeat than rejoicing in the victory of a dear comrade and competitor? But you will remember first and foremost that this is only a contest. A contest which unites on an equal basis people of the south and of the north with no ideological barriers between you. In these contests, it is of no importance who wins, but it is important to play the game. Well said. You'll adhere to the rules yeah. of courtesy and sportsmanship. Okay. to the wall, and there were at least 20 Trojans attacking me, and... May I? How sweet you are. As I was saying, there were all these Trojans... How the... many Trojans? <laughs> well, there were five or six. Five or six? Uh, three or four. Three uh... or four. Well, only one, but he was on this big horse, see? <laughs> see you, conscientious objectors. <laughs> enough out of you two, mate. Ah. What do you think you are? Come on, have a drink. <laughs> Sit down. You... Hey, how about a drink? Oh, no, have a cup of wine, wine first. Thanks. <laughs> hey, right there. Mm -hmm. See him? That's the one. Mm -hmm. All right, let's try it. Do you mind if we join you? We'd like to have a little chat with you. <laughs> I'm not buying. Bring us a sample of this wine of yours, the very best wine you have. Wine? Wine? Hey, be sure you bring him the wine from the little barrel, the extra strong stuff. <laughs> Just a minute, mate. Can't you see I'm busy? I told you to mind your own business. Ah, you're lucky you sat with me. This wine's the real thing. Uh, you must be a connoisseur of wine. Oh, my favorite beverage. Then why aren't you drinking any? Are you fulfilling your vow? <laughs> No, sometimes I have a pain. In your purse? <laughs> All the time. Hey, fellas, sorry I'm late. Hey, Glaucus, have a drink. <laughs> Are you in need of money? You said it. Well, we could let you have some money. Lots of money. Money? What do I have to do? We have a vessel loaded with valuable merchandise. What we need is a sort of a watchman. See that? That's merely your first advance. It's all yours if you just say yes. Yes. Ah, uh, another man has to come with you before you can have it. Not just me, huh? No, 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 another man. We also want to get that champion over there. <laughs> We 
We've already tried to convince him, but he won't even consider it. And I'm supposed to convince him? Without Glaucus, nothing doing. Don't worry, I'll convince him. Hey, what's now then, tell me the time of departure. Hey. Tomorrow morning at sunrise. Hey, what's, what's our destination? One, That's two, secret. right, three, four... Yeah. He's as good as on board right now. I don't get speak a little louder. I can't hear a word you're Would saying. you mind not interrupting me so much while I'm counting? There, you see? All it took was a pat on the head to convince him. Do you think he'll be upset when he finds himself on board? Oh, don't worry about that. As soon as he wakes up, I'll explain everything. And besides, he's tied securely. Good morning. How do you feel? Just great. Now, where are we? On board ship? At sea. Sure, I can see that for myself, but where are we going? Now, let me explain I everything. I don't need any explanation. Put me ashore. All right, just a minute. I'm not now. waiting for anything. I'm heading for dry land. Take this man. You try to take me. Come on, here I am. Yahoo! such a bright idea to bring along that pair. That Pyrrhus, I could drown him. I'm not so sure he isn't going to drown us. Come on, help me. Give me a hand. Oh, don't just sit enough. there, you go. Showed you help. Leaks are, didn't I? Well, then help me plug the leak. Help, you won't come on Stop the eating that apple and come over and help me. He's not as stupid as he looks, if you ask me. You win. I'll come with you. Jake, huh, Pyrrhus? All set? Sure. Let's go. Oh, That's more like it, huh? I'll get even with you for this. Just remember that. Come on. Help me. Come back here. You see, it was child's play. Ah, don't forget that I was the one who thought up the Trojan horse. <laughs> ah, gentlemen. Excuse me, I must have gotten on the wrong ship. I thought I was on the way to Egypt. I'll send you to Egypt. <laughs> Who did that? Let me at him. There's your ship to Egypt. And that's just what he deserves. Put him in his place. <laughs> You're gonna forget it now. How are you? I'm a little out of breath. Your hand, sir, was a present from the gods. Oh, that's all right. What's your name? Sofo. One can easily perceive that you are a gentleman, sir. I wouldn't say no to that. Well, how come then that you happen to be aboard this vessel? Why do you ask me that? No reason. The signal! All ashore! Let go! Thank <laughs> you.
Look at that. It's all gold. By Diana. Look at that. Now do you see, my friend, why I kept our destination a secret? These precious stones are in payment for our merchandise. From now on, it is your job to protect them. These waters are infested with pirates. Huh. Is that so? <clears throat> oh, naturally, there's a share to be set apart for each and every one of you. <laughs> naturally. Take as much as you can carry. Hurry up. Don't waste any time. Tell me something. How did you find out that the natives here are satisfied with four bales of rags in exchange for a fortune in jewels and gold? They're a primitive people. To them, their precious stones and their pieces of gold mean very, very little compared to our manufactured product. I wonder why I never found a business proposition like this. Hey, right. don't I see something to eat over there? Certainly. These natives are the soul of hospitality. A good idea. <laughs> Help yourselves, boys. Help yourselves. I never tasted a chicken as good as this before. Never. Eat all you want, boys. There's plenty for all. Don't hold back now. Help yourselves to food and drink. Yo! Hey, Glaucus, come here and taste this wine. I've never drunk wine like this before in my life. You know you were right. It's all a question of faith. Look at us now. Who would have thought we'd ever find a fortune like this so easy? What's wrong? Nothing. I was just trying to talk, but I couldn't get the words out of my mouth. Ah. Neither can I. All of a sudden, I'm tongue-tied. Hey, what's the matter? Hmm? <laughs> I'm going to fix you. You can't do this to me. Huh? Like little angel. And once again, our foreign business is concluded. <laughs> hey, Glaucus, wake up! taught you how to talk with all those words. A man called Freeman, but now he's in jail. Oh. <laughs> oh. What's wrong with your feet, you clumsy ox? So far, what's happening here? Do you know what this I place is? I don't have the slightest idea. But where are Paris and the others? They've all been taken prisoner by the natives here. And if I hadn't dragged you away, you'd have suffered the same fate while you were sleeping. Now I get it. We were drugged. Listen, they've been gone for only a few hours. They can't be very Shh. far from here. They're all inside that cave. Let's go. There. Wait a minute. Hurry. Oh. Oh. Watch out. You might bump your head. Oh. Looks like the cave ends here. These rocks are too supposed to be real. Here's a stone that moves. Nothing happened. Uh, hey, come on, stay with me. I'm right behind you. Why, it's beautiful. So peaceful. If it's so peaceful, what's that wall for? You're always worrying. 
fact, the more peaceful, the better for us. So help me, I'll free those men. We must be careful, very careful. Death. Are you talking to me or to the horse? Funny, aren't you? I'll have you flogged when they bring you in. Why don't you try it yourself? Don't run away. From your eyes, I might think I was with a goddess or a queen. Who are you? Are you part of the latest cargo? What cargo? The one that just arrived from me. All I know is for a woman, you have funny ideas. But you're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Is that so? <laughs> well, don't you get any funny ideas. Stay right where you are. <laughs> so you want to play, huh? A woman. A woman in uniform. Hey, what's going on here? Stranger, you're in the kingdom of the Amazon. You may pray to the gods. From now on, your life as a man is finished. Stop it. Just a moment. You mustn't put him to death, Melita. After all, he's communal property. <laughs> but he was insolent, Antiope. He was insolent to one of us, and the law states that he must die for it. I'm taking him back with us. said about my friend. Go on, repeat it. Welcome, Glaucus. There's the traitor. Why don't you look at him? He's the man you say sold us like a bundle of rags, huh? All right, so he didn't do it. Haven't you anything better to do than fight among yourselves? The first thing you should think of is getting away from here. Oh, sure, either this way or that. Why not? Now we can escape any time we choose. And we better get going right away because we're in the hands of the Amazons, wild women. Women? Women? Uh, hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> if we're in the hands of women, who wants to escape? Huh? Oh. Ah. Well, that depends. Ah, well, now. I have a feeling that things are going to change. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, cutie. Uh, can you get a Liberty Pass for tonight by any chance? That's oh! <laughs> now, what do you think you're laughing at? Well, what's the matter? She said she's got the duty tonight. <laughs> uh, why don't we all try to escape together, huh? Oh, that's too dangerous. I'll figure some way out. What's your plan? Every time Pyrrhus figures out a plan, he gets us all in the Silence! <laughs> My friend is thinking. Glaucus, do you remember what you said to Achilles before the walls of Troy? Never be afraid of armor, because underneath there's only a man? 
Well, underneath this armor, there are only women. Uh -huh. Maybe they're more cruel than men and more spiteful, but they're women. And everyone knows the gods created women so they could marry men. Uh, you got the picture, huh? Uh, I'll tell you something. I've got mine picked out already. <laughs> Keep your heads back and your eyes forward. Hunt the ground, crawl like worms. Ready, aim, shoot. <laughs> to be put to death. As an example, harsh as it is which the whole populace should observe, a mistaken impulse to show mercy at this moment could be worse than dangerous. I might even say disloyal. In my report, I have conscientiously described the facts as they occurred and how the objectionable masculinity of that Greek, having insulted the dignity of only one of us, has committed an unpardonable offense against the community. Don't generalize so, Melita. If your grudge is only a personal one, it doesn't authorize you to speak This is not all. a question of personalities. Temper, With us, sir. it's not the person who counts, but all of us together, collectively. These virgin warriors, these valiant girls on whom our country's foundation reposes, absolutely, unquestionably must not be defiled by the impure hand of any man. Unless we give him the opportunity. I suggest you're incorrect. We import merchandise of first quality, heroic, warlike, athletic. And I won't permit you to claim that they should behave like inferior slaves. All men are of the inferior sex. But we women have to accept their cooperation, at least from time to time, to ensure the future of our glorious queendom. That's an irrelevant detail. The law stipulates that only the queen be chaste. I'd like to see you be queen someday. I could reign with much more dignity than you. You'd be too indulgent. By granting one man a pardon, you threaten the austerity of our legal code and undermine our discipline. I appeal to the judgment of Her Majesty the Queen and the noble lady senators. And Sire Pierre's right. I am not satisfied. I request that a vote be taken with a showing of hands. All in favor of the Greek being given his life, raise your hand. After lengthy and attentive study, the council has decided that the Greek shall live. I don't accept your jurisdiction. I demand a trial by combat according to our laws. No, Melita. I'm not angry enough for that. I don't want us to fight. Melita is fully within her rights when she demands a trial by combat. Come with me, everyone. In due time, we shall inform you of our decision. Oh! Expecting a baby, Your Majesty. I suspect you've made your decision. I'm forced to. My administration is nearly over. Worse luck. And we risk having that fanatical Melita for our new queen, too. That would be disastrous. After seven years as queen, I'm fed up with being a spinster. I've made up my mind. <gasps> the aging process should always be checked at the right time. Even wine will become bitter if you let it get too old, like men. Mmm, how right you are. It's perfection, aged like a work of art. What year is this wine? This one. Do you recall the year that Helen went astray? Mmm. It's become a little bit tangy, but I wouldn't call that bad, would you? Heavens, no. I prefer it this way. Well, then, are those two hot heads still determined to fight each other? It would appear that only one of them is determined. Oh, let's not bother about her. She's young and enthusiastic. If she ever becomes queen, she'll get over being both. And I can hardly wait for one or the other of them to succeed me. Oh, what a thing to say. Whenever I drink this wine, I recognize, my dear high priestess, that we two are the unhappiest women on earth. Imagine, no men around, no one to love us. We have no other compensation left, except a cup of wine. Well, I'm worse off than you. It's I who have to smell thinking thoughts. <laughs> honestly, that temple is simply revolting. <laughs> when are we going to have this duel? 
Ah, uh, just make sure that it's not on a hot day. Is the next new moon all right with you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Console yourself, my queen, as usual. Lend me a cup of sugar. No, I'm sorry. I'm fresh out myself. Oh, really? You'd think that one could buy sugar once in a while, wouldn't you? I just can't understand. I never seem to get my wash as dazzling as yours. Tell me, Orestes, what's new with you? Hi Hello. there. Oh, my dear, don't even ask me. I'm slaving day and night. If things go on like this, I'll complain to the union. Oh, Our employers right. won't I listen agree. to me. Oh, I'm so thrilled. I never had cakes turn oh, out so like a fluffy before. Aren't they dreams? How much baking powder did you use? This was meant for you, huh? No, for the commander of the guards. And just how will I explain this to my employer? She'll teach you a lesson when she comes home for dinner. Why do you pick on me like this? I'm only looking for work. Give me some work to do, anything. I'll have you know I'm a scientist. I not only invent things that are useful, but also things that are entertaining. Oh, really? See what I've invented with this piece of hollow reed here. A bit of water inside, one lens here, and one here. Now it's far, now it's near. Now it's near, now it's far. May I try it? Why not? It's long range? You'll see. Thank you. You can see without anybody seeing you, too. Oh, but this is truly marvelous. Oh, it's nothing, really. Outward appearances notwithstanding, this one is by no means an imbecile, you see. Falls I to you. Oh, May I have some refreshment? Pray help yourself. Thank you. But how oh, did you ever get here? No, oh, let's not talk about it. I've been on a long hour. Oh, really? Have you ever heard of the land of Egypt? No. Pyramids. Really? You've been oh, there? Give it to me. No, I've not been there. Well, a man told me about it who was imported here recently. Hmm. Well, that's where I was living. But I got into trouble with a scientist, and they're the top dogs in that place. That's so? I'd invented a yeast to make beer with, and then I was actually accused of sabotage the wine business. Oh. The women! Here come the women! My mistress, you have early today. Soup, son? What? You've just arrived and you want to eat already. Well, I've been training, Butch, and I don't want any back talk from you. I suppose you women think that washing and ironing a week's laundry and slaving away over a red hot stove all morning isn't hard work. Yeah, I'd like to see you do my work for just one day. My goodness, as if I didn't know what you call working all day long on horseback, just playing with the other Amazons or else shooting dice whenever it's raining. You have no idea what work is, that's all. And you do, I imagine. I do? Why, my good woman, I get up every single morning at daybreak, I tidy up the house, and then one day it's the washing, another day I have to do the baking. And you never show me any consideration. It's awful, awful, do you hear? I'm fed up with being barked at all the time by a brood of an Amazon. And by Amazon private, not even a corporal! Did you see those? The new cargo merchandise. They only know what's in store for them. No one really knows where they go to. We're better off than they are.
what they're going to do with us when this is over with. Yes, it looks that way. They'll have to choose us one at a time. It's not bad work when you come right down to it. That's just the trouble. You know, to the Amazons, we're not so much working men as working animals. Useful for a while, but not for always. The answer to that one is to keep being good. Make yourself useful. can't kill us. We're the new one. Remember? Hey, Terrace, what kind of a room is this we're in? Yeah, hey, no beds in here. That change. Yeah. Hey, now what's going hey, on? I guess you're in the shower. It's all right. We've got to look at the ring on those Amazons. Yeah. Oh, 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 to blazes. Well, it's because they're all veterans of the war with the Trojans. That's what training will do. Hurry, have them get on with it. I'll stay here. Those men are so spectacular. Who's that? 
All right, Antiope, you're the winner. Do what you like with that man. I will. I know it. I confess I wouldn't mind being in Antiope's shoes. At your service. <laughs> your backhand is almost as powerful as your kisses. Antiope, the queen has summoned you. You like your new groom? She's my bride. One. I'll take that tall one in the third row. Looking for anything special, madam? Have a look at you. Come down here. I want to have a look at your shoes. Oh. You know it's too long to suit me. Oh, you just think so because you never tried one with a long nose. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Don't do that. I'll, hey, I'll take it. <laughs> I saw him first. How about me? Well, I tell you, I like the model, but I'm afraid I take him then. You look like my complexion. I would like the one for both of you girls. Hey, you blondie, what's your name? Nanda. Where are you from? I'm from Greece, that is the northern part. And you, Shorty? He's a puny round. How'd he get here? I'm the God's gift to the women of southern Greece. Let's be off, my baby. Y'all is my women now. How strange, since you were victorious, and not Melita, I thought you would go on to be my successor on the throne. And instead, you obviously planned not to. I watched you sealing your destiny with a kiss. <laughs> One kiss doesn't seal the destiny of anyone. Don't try to deceive yourself. You know that the first qualification for a queen is her chastity. No men in her life. Not to mention kisses like the one you exchanged with that man just now. And don't forget it. I can do without them. It's a lot to give up at your age. Once I was proud and indifferent too. When they first elected me queen, my ambition was to be as cold and remote as Olympus. But then, such satisfaction does not endure. Take some advice from me, Antiope. No throne can take the place of a man in your life. You have three days before making your decision. Go into the Temple of Tanit. The goddess will show you the right path to choose. I hope so, Your Majesty. And I hope it'll be the best one for our people. Tell me, how does a kiss affect you? Does it produce a flavor? It's difficult to give you an idea. Not a flavor, really. It's no use. There'll never be anyone who is willing to provide an intelligent description. Well, easy. Hey, Melita picked the one in the middle. She believes he's only fit for a queen. And he's so stupid looking. Do you think I'm tired of this? I would be if I were on high. I you saw that Glocka she walked off with. He'd take my mind off affairs of state. Come on, let's take these two bulls. Melita, I'm warning you. I won't stand for this insinuation. Melita, we could make beautiful music together. Melita. Have this delivered. Just a minute. If you want to become queen, you'd better listen to my advice. I'll take it with me. So, you think Glaucus will never let Antiope turn him down? And I feel the same way about you. You blockhead. Even if you succeeded at the cost of your life. Why should I go on living without the woman I love? Oh, oh Pyrrhus, will you kindly stop all this foolishness right now? Let's talk about Glaucus and Antiope. Why Glaucus and Antiope? Let's talk about us. Why should I be the only one left in the lurch? You want me to spend my nights counting sheep or something? It's just not fair. 
You should be thankful. You don't know how lucky you are. What do you mean by that, huh? Spend the night all alone when I should be enjoying my honeymoon? You call that lucky? <laughs> mm, and the morning after? What happens the morning after? I can't tell you exactly what happens. Only the elders really know. But it isn't hard to imagine. It costs your head for one night of love? I wouldn't mind that. That's the best bargain you ever made. <laughs> Listen, wouldn't you like to go back to your own country? Sure. What do I have to do? That's easy. Go make your friend Glaucus kidnap Antiope. He could grab her while she's praying in the temple. The queen has ordered her to stay there for three days. Agreed. But you come with me. Oh, no. I'm staying here. I want the throne. Oh, Melita, wouldn't you prefer a nice cruise to Greece? We could stop at all the islands. Greece is worth the throne. Especially if you see it with me. Melita, come on with me, huh? I want nothing to do with you or any part of Greece. How do you know? You mustn't judge things sight unseen like that. I, for instance, don't trust anything I can't put my hand on. Stop pawing ah! me! You can hold that if you like. Melita, Melita, give me just one kiss. Come on, and try it. my whole career. No. <laughs> I don't want you to give up the throne. All I want of you is just one little kiss. You don't seem to realize that in Greece, my kisses are worth their weight in gold. Go ahead, call the cards. Go on. You don't want to call them, you mean? Oh, all right, but be quick about it. Now, don't be in such a rush. Things like this take a certain amount of time. Listen, darling, anything else of mine you want, be sure to ask me when we get home tonight. All right? Sure. Stop cutting in on my time, Don't give you? me that time, so no, 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 it belongs to me. Come on, you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 what a thriller. He kisses all right. Yes, he did. I think he's all right. I don't Come on, girls. There's plenty more where that came from. My friend, do you realize that we're the only two men on this whole island who have no cushions to lay our heads on while all our friends at this very moment... Oh. <laughs> well, it's not our fault that the two best-looking girls in town both want to be queen. Uh-oh. Pose, O Tenet, the promptings of my own heart. And grant me control of my senses, that I may reign serene and free from all disturbing thoughts. Why do you want to fight against your love? Evidently, living holds no interest for you anymore. Or perhaps what you intended was to ruin me. But this will also bring ruin on yourself, because we burn the men alive who enter the Temple of Talent. No, I won't let you. How can I let you throw your life away for nothing? I'm willing to risk anything to convince you that I love you and you love me. Because it's so, we must run away. Get out of here. No. No, Melita has a plan. It's all agreed. Oh, really? Aha. Uh -huh. Then it was she who persuaded you to enter the temple. Oh, what a fool you are. Melita is trying to destroy me. And you have fallen for her game. Even if that were true, we have no other choice. We must risk it. <clears throat> I'm sorry to butt in, but there seem to be some people collecting outside. I saw them in the shadows. Melita must have set a trap for us. Ah, I was sure that was it. Well, come on, get moving. No. I'm not going to run away. That would be an act of treason against my own people. And I'm not sure we can escape anyway. There's only one way out of here. There used Let's to be go. another, but it's been closed for years. There it is. But it's no use. Samson couldn't budge it. Hmm. That's what you say. This ought to do it. Watch me. All it 
takes is the right touch. Why, you blockhead? Why didn't you let him know? Who, me? But you said it wouldn't open. Glaucus, are you all right? It's open. Well, good for you. Shall we get moving? I won't go unless you do. All right. I'll lead you to the seashore. Bye. Aren't you coming, Pyrrhus? Oh, don't worry about... <coughs> I'll be knocking at your door one of these days. <coughs> Have some wine ready. Go on. So long. In the middle of a night like this, you have to break it up for duty. One night is like another. Ah, that's what you said. Well, what are you waiting for? Let's go after them. Girdle. I'm only reporting the facts. It's not up to me to interpret them. In my opinion, this whole situation seems very strange. Your Majesty! Your Majesty! They've run away! 
Oh. Perfect intelligence service. They were on horseback headed towards the White Mountain. Oh, I trust the goddess of love will protect all three of them. Don't you mean the two of them? But didn't you tell me there were three? Yes, certainly. No, no. There were only Antiope and that young blonde one. And the other, Pyrrhus. Wasn't he with them? Mm -mm, not that we saw. You really don't seem to have the best information, Melita. You can both leave now. I'm sleepy. Tomorrow, with mind refreshed, we can see all this more clearly. Proceed with the search. Oh. That island there looks very mysterious. The rudder is out of order, Captain. I've told you time and again not to break that rudder. You can thank the gods that island is as near as it is. We might as well take on some fresh water. If there is any. I didn't hurt myself at all. And this gorilla gets one bump on his head and he's out like a lamp. Oh. The current must have taken us off course. Shut up, you. We don't want to attract too much attention before we have a look around. Uh, uh. <laughs> what happened to him? Just leave me alone with her. Where do you suppose he came from? Let's take him back on board. Why not? He might be useful. You never can tell. Glaucus! Glaucus! Melita must have found him here. Why are you still here? Oh, I like my new place very much. And I love my new mistress. I'll have you beheaded. And what'll you do about the sacred girdle? What do you know about the sacred girdle? Oh, only that it disappeared rather mysteriously. and Now it's hidden safely away. Why, you swindler! Give it back to me this instant! Oh, it's not on me. You'll be sorry. <laughs> you're so beautiful when you're mad. You know, I've just had a magnificent idea. Now I can be your faithful slave forever. What's on your mind? I'll make this my home. <sighs> Just room and board in exchange for the housework I'll do for you. Because you can't become queen without the sacred girdle, can you? So I thought I'd settle down here in the meantime and uh, be your consolation. Get out of here! Oh, couldn't you reconsider? You know you're breaking my heart. Well, I suppose there's nothing else to do except request an audience with the queen. Hmm. Come back here. Stay where you are. That's better. This is sheer extortion. See how easy it is to get along. Let's make up. 
Give me a kiss. You'll keep your place here, or I'll have them flog you. Yes, ma'am. And what about something to eat for your hungry slave? <sighs> well, what... I'm a friend. I'm also a friend of Glaucus. Here, you're as well protected as you would be with an army. There's nothing to fear. No one is going to do you any harm. You'll see. Open this. Oh, no. Let me explain. Look, why not sit down? That's it. Let's both sit down and have a friendly chatter. Now then, what... Sit here so I can find my companions. That'd be doing them a favor. They're looking high and low for you. What's that to do with you? Somebody stole the sacred girdle. And you have been accused of being the culprit. Take my advice. If you want to save your life, you'd better wait and leave things to Glaucus. Glaucus won't get away alive from the Amazons. Why don't you want to believe the truth when you hear it? He'll come back and save you both from the Amazons. Even if he does return, I shall never leave this island. I've already done too much against my own kind. Oh, stop it. Any woman would have done the same. And don't fool yourself that you women are different from all the others. I don't advise you to speak badly of my people in front of no, me. No, 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 no. What are you up to? I'm going to light the fire. But who are you? Sofo. And I'm going to tell you something you never knew about your quaint customs here. Did you ever wonder what happens to the men on the day after they, shall we say, marry you for better or for worse? <laughs> Come now, this is only a piece of hollow reed and nothing more. Don't be so reactionary. I'm telling you it's more than just a hollow reed. Have a look through it and then make up your mind. Have a look. Go on. Look, down there. There's the secret of the elders. After a single night of love, all the men end up down there with bears to guard them. The general idea is to keep young Amazons well clear of the perils and pitfalls of falling in love. Uh, why didn't they tell us this before? I wish I could work my way out like I worked my way in. Silence down there! Get to work! Uh, I hope you die an old maid, just like you are today! Anyway, boys, that was some night we spent before we We're came not here. We're spend any more. You can bet your life on Well, we can hope for prison reform. They went for the rest of their lives like that, without ever looking at another woman. Hmm. Hey, don't let it give you any ideas. Hm. You flatter yourself. Are you sure it makes such a change? My dear, did you see Doris? You'd think she had a new head. I wouldn't trust anyone but him. Oh, oh what a lovely surprise. Now, one at a time, girls, one at a time. Don't push. That's it. Let me take this junk jewelry. What a trash. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, you see what I've made for you in the boutique? <laughs> oh, my dear, will you ever learn? The shoulder must always be unpinned, uncovered the shoulder. Oh, dear. That's it, girls. Now, take it easy. Wait a minute. Don't push. Come on, let's go to the boutique. Everyone's talking about this ship Greek. I know he's your slave, but he's too enterprising. Take care that he doesn't get you into trouble. He's also one of the consequences. Consequences of what? What do you mean, what? The sacred girdle. Oh, now what on earth has the sacred girdle got to do with this slave of yours and the way he carries on? Well, nothing directly, I mean, but I have a suggestion to make. It's possible to, to consecrate a new, a new girdle and... And then we could elect a new queen. You think so? Well, you're mistaken. My knowledge of the law has it that two moons must wax and wane before we may consecrate another girdle. And now be off with you and give more thought to your slave instead of worrying about the girdle and the throne. What's all this story about the two moons? I don't believe I've heard of it before. <laughs> it's a law I passed just now. <laughs> Your health and your wisdom. Same to you. Now, girls, come on, girls, take it up now. You mustn't go away now. Why don't you all come to my boutique? Uh. Uh. Why 
Get that moving. smirk off your face. Coming. Careful, don't push. Get in there. I want to talk I'm to you. Melita, Melita, we have a carpet for you. Put it inside. You two, inside. Now, what can I do for you, my turtle dove? Sure, sure. I'll show you who's a turtle dove. I'm fed up with your dirty black male. You're absolutely right, my dear. I can't say I blame you, but if you're only a little bit more kind and uh, more hospitable. I will be. I promise. How much do I have to give you now to tell me where you put the sacred girdle? Oh, that's not up to me to say. Here, it's divine. Oh, stop it. I'll let you run away with all the gold you've embezzled. Why, I'd be willing to give up every hard-earned penny of it before I'd give you up, believe me. Yes, I can imagine you're making such a sacrifice. Can't you see I'm suffering my sighs and my tears, my, my passion for you? I see only one thing, the way you make such a fool of yourself with all the Amazons. Oh, now, if you reject me, I have to do something with the time on my hands. Are you jealous? Oh, I'll not permit you to use that despicable word in my presence. As for the girdle, if you don't come across with it by the next moon, you understand? Yes. If Melita loses her patience, she'll pack you off to the mines. No, 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 no I'm ticklish! Who are you? Sofo, he met aboard ship. Sofo? Ah, how are you? Oh, oh. Wait a minute! Uh, I'll unpack you. No, no, don't! I feel safer like this. How did you manage to get here? It'd take a whole day to tell you, and right now, every minute counts. Now, pay attention. Glaucus landed, Glaucus captured, me no, yes. learned Amazon system slave labor, mm -hmm. stop, followed Glaucus escape, Glaucus disappeared, yes. helped Antiope, Antiope safe with me, mm -hmm. overheard your chat with Melita and learned girdle racket, stop. Mm -hmm. oh, you got all that? No. What's the matter with you? Hey, what are you doing? Ah, you. Well, Sofo, nice to see you again. Tell me, what do you want with me? I want to help Antiope. If you can tell us where you hit the girdle, she'll return in grand style and be proclaimed the new queen. Are you out of your mind? Don't you realize that's my only weapon? Why should I give it to Antiope? Yes, but from the point of view of morality. Morality? You don't even know what it is. To think I came here full of hope and all that. <laughs> Too bad. You might as well go home. Uh, here, ah! here, here, here. Just a moment, dear. It's a little tea, Hurry! Hurry! One moment. I'm not decent. <laughs> Paris, do you approve of the way I've done my mm. hair? Oh, magnificent. A but don't you like my new hair, mm. No. Oh, simplicity. How many times do I have to tell you, my dears? No jewels, please. <laughs> no accessories. That island is the treasure home of the earth. I saw rubies and diamonds there as big as my fist. How do you know they weren't synthetic? You could all be rich, but you won't believe me. No, that we don't believe you. Just that we feel uneasy. When anyone gets a bump on the head before he's himself again, oh, it's always like this. All right, I'm not responsible. There's a woman in danger of our life, and we have to save her. Our women are in danger, too, when we're sailing the high seas. Well, yours is in more danger when you're ashore. <laughs> Suit yourselves. <laughs> I believe you. And if you want, I can help you round up a dozen able seamen. And a vessel. Men we can trust? You bet your life we can. For the oarsmen, though, you'll have to give me a hand when I sign them on for the voyage. your oarsmen. All we have to do is load them aboard the ship, and in a couple of hours, we'll be on the high seas. <laughs> Where's this treasure? I'll show you when we get there. Why can't you tell me now? I don't want to run any risks. 
Oh, you trust us, don't you? Like the sea, it's always calm before a storm. It's high time we put a stop to this corruption around here. You're a disgrace to the whole community. We'd better get out of here while we've still got time. Melissa gave you until the next moon, right? Right. What do you mean the next moon? Right now, today. We have no time to lose. Mm -hmm. I found out that with every moon a new cargo is delivered. The new ones move in and we shove off. Mm -hmm. Home we go! There's been a letdown in discipline and morale. It's true that you're still very young. But I expect you to behave like warriors. Is that clear? You know, I don't altogether trust that big blonde Greek. I think it's best if I go ahead alone. I know the whole island, and if I'm not back here in three days' time, well, then you can do what you like. Well, he's right, he's right. You wouldn't be trying to pull a fast one on us, would you? Stop worrying. We'll all be swimming in gold. is coming to take him to prison. Come with us and don't make any trouble. Well, I don't usually fight with women, but... Once on Tyope. Well, you ask for it yourself. <laughs> Antiope, come on, don't behave like a fool. No, Melita, you don't have us yet. I'll kill you first. Oh, yes? Just make one move. <gasps> Bring them along. By abandoning the temple of Tanit, Antiope is responsible for the theft of the sacred girdle. Therefore, she is to be subjected to the trial of verity within the temple. And if the goddess in her wrath does not prove her innocence by restoring the sacred girdle to the queendom of the Amazons, this warrior will be condemned to be burned at the stake at the same time as this sacrilegious Greek who with masculine impertinence has openly dared to violate our laws and our sacred way of life. Only when this man who has insulted the gods, only when this treacherous slave has been punished by the sacred virgins of Tanit, only then will the wrath of the goddess be appeased. Only then will tranquility be restored to this island, and queendom of the Amazon will recover its glorious and austere traditions of old. In the highest spirit of womanly courage and fortitude, these traditions ensure the lasting glory of our motherland. It is Talit who guides our path, but it is the Amazon who defends it.
Your friends haven't forgotten you. And what can they do? about. Now Melita will see that I get the same thing that's happening to him. Stupid. The goddess has deigned to unmask all of your enemies and proclaimed to us that you are truly innocent. Antiope, I accept you as worthy to reign over all the people of the Amazons. Then I am willing. And now, it's up to you to decide what you want to do with the prisoner. Let him be granted his life. We'd better get out of here. Your Majesty. Release him. Farewell, Glaucus. May the gods protect you. Return to your own country and forget me. Set him free! How are we gonna get over the city walls? Look how high they are! What do you think we brought these ropes along for? So you could skip rope with them? You! There! And you! There! You come with me to the trees and keep quiet.
Those men are our only hope. What are you going to do? Set the prisoners free, find them weapons, and counterattack the pirates. And the bears? Huh? The bears! There's Glaucus. Thank you very much. Don't mention it. I was afraid of this. Those battle axe Amazons are turning back our attacks. Their barricades are too You're strong. Right. If we fight on foot, we make a perfect target for them. Let's break out those horses and attack them with cavalry. Get the horses! And Diapé, look there! Watch out now! They're making a cavalry charge! Get the horses! Get the horses! Get the horses! There's one of the bears. Go get him, boy. Why didn't you tell me you wanted a rug? That's a good idea. Start with that one. <sighs> poor Glaucus. What do you mean, poor Glaucus? Poor bear. Don't get so excited. Give me your left. Glaucus! Come on, Glaucus! Glaucus! Oh, excuse me. Use your left, boy. Use your left. Oh. Ah, I got him. Glaucus, when you finish with that one, there's another one over here. Slowpo, come on. Hurry. Let's get the horses. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Get me a belt, Amazon. Take the horses and let's go rescue the girls. Follow me. Come on. You're disgracing yourself. Act like a woman. That's just what I'm doing. We can't hold out much longer. Stop this sniveling. And you, give me an arrow. Hey, look over there! Oh, 
Oh, for heaven's sake, don't you think of anything else? Well, uh... <laughs> well, here's where we so say goodbye. Bo, are you really determined to leave us? Yes, I prefer to resume my wanderings about the world. Besides, I'm afraid of that old hag. Goodbye then, Sofo. We're going to miss you. Why don't you marry some girl here that you like? Now, I wouldn't mind marrying the queen, but she's bound by her vows of chastity. And anyway, I prefer really to stay single. So now, goodbye. I'll be on my way. Goodbye. Oh, no, no, no. I might break down. Your Majesty, High Priestess. Sofo! Let me out of here! kiss much longer. I really believe they're both suffocation. Oh, my dear priestess, if only I had the opportunity, I wouldn't mind it. More than anything, I still wish that someone could describe a kiss to me. Hmm. Goodbye! At high time, too. Let's go and change the constitution. Oh, fine. Whoops! Oh. Hooray for women! Hooray for men! Hooray for... Good night, all!